Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Hello everybody, I'm Larry Ridley and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Anticipation is mounting for today's game and we've got two quarterbacks looking to make an impact. It's Manning's Giants going up against Ryan's Falcons. Now let's head down to Jim Nance and Phil Simms for this week two matchup. It's the NFL on EA Sports, a week two matchup on tap here as we join you from MetLife Stadium. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims. And, Phil, it's an absolutely gorgeous day here for football. And how will that factor into this game? It's always a factor, Jim, when you have good weather. Now you can call anything you want and not worry about the elements disturbing your game plan. It's a complicated game. There's no doubt about it. But it's less complicated when you have good weather. Josh Brown getting his team set as we're about to get underway. So that means Devin Hester will be back for the opening kick. With that kick, we're underway. Smartly takes a knee in the end zone. Ryan's coming onto the field now. Quite the story last week. He had the perfect quarterback rating of 158.3. Size is a talent when you talk about quarterbacks in this league. And Matt Ryan, every bit of six foot five, and he plays tall, stands tall. One of the reasons why he has success. Freeman's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. First down at the 20. Freeman's taking the handoff. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. Here's our look at the Falcons' offense. A model of efficiency a week ago without a single giveaway. The Giants come out in a dime package. Ryan's got it in the gun. Devontae Freeman with the reception. Arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Nice throw right on target by the QB. First down, offense readying for the snap. Ryan from the gun. He's scrambling now. Walks to go deep. Nice catch. Gonna take it home for the touchdown. How about this gift? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding him. He throws it down there and he gets the easy touchdown. The Falcons with an extra point try on the way. Uh, 
Driving extra point is good. Ryan's going to have a tough time upstaging what he did on that scoring drive, passing for over 80 yards against a defense that had no answers for him. And here's Harris. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Manning's coming out now at quarterback. He hovered right around 50% completion mark last week. Eli Manning has shown over the years one of his greatest attributes is the fact that he will throw the football down the field high and give his receivers a chance to run under it and make the catch. First down at the 23. Manning's looking to go down the field here. Our look at the Giants offense last week they never turned the football over once second down following that incompletion Jennings in the backfield single back set and Jennings gonna take the handoff now Jennings taken down at the 33 this is third down Manning's lined up, two tight end set. Jennings got him on the handoff. The Giants offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job by the offensive line. will end up in the end zone for a touchback. The Giants allowed a ton of passing yards on that last drive. Yeah, look, I, I'm not going to fault the players. I think the coverages that they used in that drive were wrong. They've got to change up this time to give the players a better chance for having some success. The Giants sat at the line. Dime package. First down at the 20. And now on the draw. Looking for some daylight up the middle. the Giants defense this is a ball hawking unit that a week ago came up with four takeaways the Giants defense brings in an extra member of the secondary they'll go nickel Freeman's handed the football picks up eight here always good to have these types of runs yeah it's not a first down but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. And now Ryan's going to take off. Henderson makes the play. Brought down at the 44. Falcons on offense here to start the second quarter. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Giants defensive coordinator, my gosh, he is one happy guy. Anytime you get in the backfield and stop a runner and make him lose yards, that's some good stuff. They bring in the extra tight end. Second and 12. And they're all over him for the sack. Nice job that time for the outside linebacker getting the sack. They ask a lot of these guys now. They are special players in the NFL. Stopping the run and the speed to get outside and get the sacks on the quarterback, too. The Falcons will take the snap from the 35. Ryan's running away from the pressure. A near interception that time by Rogers Cromarty. The Falcons really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete.
It'll be a touchback. The Giants offense comes back onto the field. Let's see if they can move the chains this time because the last possession was ugly. They weren't out there very long. But Jim, you know how I think in situations like this, I think it's more up to the coach than the players. It's all a play that really catches the defense off guard so you can get an easy gain and get the momentum on your side and get it rolling. Welcome back, and we're coming out of the two-minute warning. First down at the 32. Larry Donnell has the catch. That leads us to second down. Good job by the offense here. Hustle up, get that football snap, conserve time, and most intercepted. Going to take it the distance. And in for the touchdown. Well, the quarterback, he could not see the defender. The defender in the right spot makes the catch and takes it back for a touchdown. The Falcons for the extra point. Extra point was good. The Giants prepared to return the kickoff. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Falcons have played some amazing opportunistic defense so far in this game. They've been physically dominant, looking virtually impenetrable, and still pitching a shutout. You said it. They have been awesome on the defensive side, dominating physically, just doing everything they want and hustling to the football. When you do all these things, that's why you've given up no points. If you think you can get a playoff quickly and not use a timeout, you go with the hurry-up offense. That time, a good job by the coach and the quarterback. And that pass is just thrown away. On the way, third down. The Giants get set at the line, needing to get to the 30 for a first. Looking across the middle, and he's tackled down after picking up the first. That's his first reception today. They're going to the hurry. First down and 10. The reception by Beckham. The Giants call a timeout. Their first. Second down here. The Giants are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. Looking middle that time. And it's incomplete. Third down now. Throw it over the middle. The play is made by Beckham. The Giants will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. Play number six coming up on this drive. First down at the 45. Danelle with the reception. Brought down at the 38. After the pass play, gain seven. Second and three on the way. Always try to save the timeout or timeouts when you can. And one way to do it is go to the hurry up offense. Good job. It's into the surefire hands of Odell Beckham Jr. The Giants with no timeouts left. First down at the 31. Rashad Jennings with the reception. Trufant's in on the tackle. That's what you call a bullet pass. Very little space to throw the football into, but he gets it done. A lot of velocity right on target. Manning's now completed four in a row. 
That will bring us to the end of the second quarter here in East Rutherford. We'll take a break and be ready for the start of the second half in just a moment. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. Now let's get to it. The Giants are on the bad end of things at home, but will have two quarters to turn it around. The Falcons deserve to be ahead, but will need to put together another strong half. All right, let's roll the highlights. Falcons opening the game on offense. Ryan's got the completion here, and he caps off the two-play drive with a score. They strike first in the half. Welcome back to the action on a day where defenses have ruled. With this kick, the second half is underway. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. The Giants talk things over at the intermission, and I'm sure one of the first orders of business was to try to figure out a way to get this offense going, Phil. Absolutely. That's what you want to do, and I think you do that by play call. So the coach, they have many plays that we call drive starters. Catch the defense by surprise. They need to call one of those right here and right now to get this offense going. The third quarter begins with this play, and Manning's pass will go incomplete. Falcons defense now is going to go nickel. Second down and 10. And he makes the catch. No, no, the ball comes out. The ball is knocked out of his hands. Not much the offense can do in a situation like this. Third and long, what you probably will have to do is either surprise them with a run or throw it short and hope somebody can make a play and pick up a first down. Stands in the pocket. Jennings with the catch. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. Manning's completion percentage, 60% on the day. Second and ten coming up. The Giants from the 32. And he just tosses it incomplete. This is a tough situation to be in. It's third and long. And I'll say this to the coach and the quarterback. Don't take a chance. If it's covered down the field, throw it short. The Falcons with a nickel look here on defense. The Giants from the 32. They're going to get him here for a sack. we got to give that defensive front a lot of credit, man. They are pushing. They're getting after it. They know it's probably going to be a pass on third down, and they get back to the quarterback and take him down. They're in punting formation. This punt will not be returned. It will never see the field of play as it sails out of bounds. The Giants defense, Phil, where are they right now mentally after the last time giving up a couple of first downs, but in the end, forcing the punt? Well, they, they feel great. And, I, and I'll give a lot of credit to the coaches on the sideline. I thought they put the players in good positions, and the players took advantage of it. First down at the 37. Williams there to make the stop. Freeman's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. The Falcons have it at the 39. Pulls it in. And it's John Beeson who makes the tackle. Good job by the quarterback that time. Makes the decision. Throws it short. It does not get the first down, but I promise you, third and short is a lot easier than having third and long. This play call is for the fullback. 
That's what you want to do. Just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. First and ten. Freeman's going to secure the handoff. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. Second and one on the way. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. And Williams is the one who brings him to the ground. Beautiful job that time by the QB. He goes back there in the pass play. He doesn't like what he sees, and he just takes off and gets the yards and gets a first down. First down at the 31. That's a gain of 10. Welcome back to this defensive showdown. It's second down now, right around three minutes remaining in the game. Smith's lined up as the single back. Smith's taking the handoff. Has 12 on this play. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the blocks very well, and he picks his way through there and picks up a first down. That's, that's nice. The Giants lined up in the nickel. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. Should have had it, but the hit knocked it out. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. They're changing things here. The quarterback changing. He's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions. Freeman's tackled down after a gain of two. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. Third and goal from the seven. What a catch. Touchdown. And with less than a quarter to play, it's going to be very difficult to catch them at this point. Yeah, the, the, the chances of a comeback have almost gone to impossible. But I'll say this on the offensive side. Don't take any chances and see if you can just find a way to march down the field to score to keep this game going. The Giants are getting ready for the return. And can they return to a competitive state in this one as the game is starting to get out of hand? The scores 21 to 3. Beckham has got it. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. Desmond Trufant takes the field once again. And he and all the other players on that unit can give themselves a big pat on the back for what's been a fantastic dominant effort today, Phil. Absolutely. Pat yourself on the back. They should. They hustled from start to finish. And to me, that was the difference in the game. First down at the 25. Looking to go down the field here. Firing it way down the, on his way. The 10. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Coming out of the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. So, first and goal to go. Fells with the reception. Godfrey's there to take him down. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. Manning's completion percentage, 60% on the day. And that's Trufant who almost had the interception. Jim, I love these situations. Third and goal, what are they going to call? They're going to run the football, they're going to go with a pass, and if it is a pass, I will look for something quick. 
ready to make the stop on the goal line. Loading up that defensive front. Intercepted. No one's going to get him now. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. In stride, and he's home for the touchdown. What a catch, what an interception, and not only that, take it all the way back for a touchdown. You talk about deflating for an offense. Ah, oh, shoot, that, that gets close to making them quit. the Falcons for the extra point. And the point after is good. The Giants are down big here in the fourth, and it's looking like a foregone conclusion at this point. The score's 28 to 3. Harris has got a chance for a return. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The Giants head onto the field here, Phil, looking for anything positive after what has truly been a disappointing performance all around. I think when you have games like this and you're behind and it's just not gone well for you all day, then you just try to get the game over with, even though you're losing because if you keep forcing the issue and trying to make plays, all that can happen is probably bad, and you don't want to get anybody hurt in this situation. Falcons, defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dying defense. The Giants will take the snap from the 25. The catch is made by Harris. Game's 20. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. The Giants will take the snap from the 45. Eli Manning out to Victor Cruz. Mark him down for another reception. Second down and one. And it's complete over to Cruz. Thomas is there to take him down. Well, that'll make you feel a little better finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. The Giants fought hard last week, right down to the wire before coming up short. And today, they just have nothing left. Yeah, this has got to be a big-time letdown for the coaching staff. I think they thought they were so close to turning everything around after last week's close loss. Well, they're not close. They're going to have to keep working hard. The Giants have it at the 34. Rashad Jennings with the reception. Jim, here in the fourth quarter, when you're down, what you want to do is just keep that football moving. That time it's a short throw, he gets a completion. Good job. Third down. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Lays out and makes the catch. The Giants signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. The defense at this point trying to keep them out of the end zone. First down at the 16. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. And this will probably wrap things up here. Beckham. And that's a touchdown late in this one. 
Well, you get the touchdown on the last play of the game, but it doesn't change anything. Uh, the player's going to be happy about what he's done, but the game was already decided. Now you start to get a little momentum going. You got the win last week, and you pick up another victory here today. It, it's just awesome, isn't it? Uh, you know, athletes are incredible. Give them a little positive reinforcement, like winning the football game. They believe in what they can do. Uh, the coaches believe in them, so they actually give them more opportunities. They trust them more, and that's how you get a winning streak going. For Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence.